Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and after much clicking, I may have stumbled upon something. Rump. Only a black belt in bad brick pork like myself can remove one of these samurang humcaps while it's still spinning. Bad brick pork? What? Got it! So. If we just throw it, I'm killing you guys. This ought to slow the big guy down. Samarang! Brother, I almost trapped! Well, he stumbled a bit, but not much else. Sure was fun, though. This took a lot of clicking. I have not yet been to the internet, so... What if? Let's see how well Tiny can keep up on an oil slick! Oh, I'm slipping on oil! He's already slipping. Then quickly. The Summering! Hey, killing you guy! You should have saw this coming! You locked me down! No one back! Whoa! That guy is unstoppable! Activate voice command! But is he further back that we can now activate Release the Release the escape hatch! And so now... There's no way I can jump to the top of that hatch from here! Okay, so... Roof. <gasps> and then hatch. Oop. Bad idea, bad idea! Oof. You almost had it, Dangerous. See if you can prop that hatch up with something. See if you can patch your trap up with something. What? Nothing. Okay, so... Release the escape hatch! What can we prop it up with? A small that rock? won't do anything interesting. I've got it. It's silly. There's only one thing you can prop it up with. I'm gonna have to slow this car down the prehistoric way. Ow, 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 ow. I'm getting closer. Like I'm gonna have to Shut up and get up here. What took you so long? Uh-huh. You're lucky you made it out alive. I the had the situation the totally okay. under control, babe. And I got your formula. Now I can save the rainforest. I'll start by planting a nursery in my backyard. Goodbye, dangerous. I'll never forget you. Can you ask? It is I, Uzi Bazooka! You're too late, Bazooka! I already gave the formula back to Gucci Buttons! I don't care about the formula! I never did! I just want to make you suffer! And now, I kidnapped your partner, Ronaldo! Dangerous! Don't listen to him! I'm taking him to my secret space station on the sun! On if the you want to save him, come and get him! Come and get him! Come and get him! Come and get him! Yeah, go with the force one. Yep, looks like I'm seriously gonna have to jump! Another perfect landing out of a helicopter! Now I just need to find some way to get to the sun! Do we have that? Do we have the, uh, the codes? Do we have the codes? Well, first of all, we need to do something right here. Back to the catacombs, because we weren't able to get something.
This must have been left here ages ago by some poor kidnapped treasure hunter looking for lost doubloons and Sergeant Pepper Oni's Pizza Palace tokens. This thing's not authorized for indoor use by the agency, and I'm not risking getting my license taken away again. It's 12 strikes and you're out with those people. Okay, so that was just one thing that we had to do. The secret lab, obviously. Fire up that rocket, Professor! I need to get to the sun! Sultry buttons? Danger-esque? I never thought I'd see you again. It's been a long time. Let's see. The last time I saw you was in... Um... Paris! How could you forget? It was the most romantic night of my life. You gave me a beautiful stickany flower. And we had our picture taken with the novelty Eiffel Tower. Next to the real Eiffel Tower. Then you got called away to save a bus full of school children from an erupting volcano stuffed with sharks in a top secret location that you couldn't disclose. Oh yeah, I remember coming up with that one. What? You stole the ruby? But I need that for the rocket! I'm sorry. When you left me, I turned to a life of crime. Now I'm stealing the world's rarest gems, starting with that ruby. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> Doesn't have to be like this. We can be a couple again. Me and you, and the ruby. Maybe not you. Can the sweet talk? We're not in Paris anymore. Maybe if you gave me another stickany flower. Too bad they're extinct. Goodbye, Dangeresque. <laughs> Are you okay, Professor? You gotta get that rocket working. Launch codes? I forgot. Cutesy Button still has them. I just need to get them back. Don't worry. I'll get your ruby back, too. Cutesy's place? Hey, remember that disc you took from Uzi Bazooka? The one with all the important launch codes on it? You wouldn't happen to still have that, would you? Funny you should mention that. Right after I used the formula, a man named Perducci showed up and offered me a sapling topiary for it. So I gave it to him. Perducci has the disc? He seemed like such a nice, well-dressed man. I did overhear him saying he was traveling to Venice, if that helps. I need another one of those stick a knee flowers. You got any? No, the one we used for my formula was the last one. If only you had a sample of the original plant. It's nice to see someone so dedicated to the issues these days. Thank you, Dangerous. People so rarely care enough to let their own social status and personal hygiene fall by the wayside just to concentrate on planting trees. I agree. I think. Your little herb garden is great and all, but you still owe me for getting the formula. Sure, I'll pay you in fresh, clean oxygen. You'll pay me in fresh, clean hundred dollar bills, or I'll bill you with my fresh, clean boot. Fine, checks in the mail. Say hey, baby. Did Danger S come through for you on that formula or what? It's okay. You can say it. The formula works, Dangeresque. Just look at all these baby trees. So eager to grow up and become the next great rainforest. Those are onions. And then my log cabin summer home in the Hamptons. What does that say? Back again, Dangeresque? It's my line. Wow, those plants really grew fast. I know I can practically smell the ozone layer being restored. Our air will no longer be toxic and poisonous. Or will it no longer be poisonous? Right, Knock it off. Uh, okay. That was worth it.
to Venice. Back to Venice. Why is it always oh. back to Venice? Oh. Wait, sultry! Man, I gotta find a way to get here before she leaves. Hey, over here! Quiet, punk! Hey, you! Citizen! I'm looking for some information! Buongiorno! I'm known around these parts as Stinky the Peeve. I sense that you are looking for information. Yeah, I just said that. And I said no accents! I'm trying to catch a beautiful jewel thief. Got any tips? Hmm, if you want to impress a lady, try leaving her flowers in a place you know she'll be. I'm looking for a man who has stolen some very important discs. These aren't pirated copies of Windows Millennium Edition, are they? Because I don't deal with that kind of- No, just top secret rocket launch codes to the sun. Ah, you're looking for Perducci. Perducci! He was here in Venice not too long ago, but has since fled the country. If you have any items that Perducci has touched, I might be able to help you find him. We do, we do. What happened to that solidest gold nugget over there that I totally wasn't going to steal? My senses tell me that a mysterious woman may have taken it. There is a rumor that a beautiful woman is attempting to steal all the world's greatest treasures. Oh yeah, these must be the world's second greatest treasures. I already stole all the good ones. So what are you doing here? Cause I gotta seal this whole place off to search for a fugitive. I am a psychic advisor sent here by higher forces to help you in your investigation. Psychic? Higher forces, of course. I am what is called a touch psychic. Give me any item and I can tell you its significance. That's pretty deep. Okay. Okay, Stinky. I really should get going. I knew you were going to say that. But before you leave, I should let you know that I have three brothers located in other countries that are also willing to help you. They aren't psychics, but they do have unique talents that may be useful. I'm trying really hard not to let that disturb me. But now, we have the plans. What do you make of this? These plans were taken from Perducci by someone much more awesome than he. That is 100% true. It is unclear where Perducci is now, but judging from the whiskey stains, his plans originated in Ireland, laddie. So now we get to go to Ireland. All right. Ireland needs a good home on my global whatever. Let's put it in Canada. We can already fit it in Ireland. That's where this is. Ireland and the fresh clean scent of the Irish Spring. Okay, so wait a minute. Ireland <laughs> Ireland and Venice are the same thing with a different cardboard cutout. Hmm, my superior detectiving skills have detected something stashed under this bridge. Aha! This is the same painting that Perducci had with him when I completely obliterated him at that card game. I wonder what it's doing here. The rare four-leaf thousand-dollar bill! Whoa! I busted up a ring of counterfeit three-leaf thousand-dollar bills before, but I've never seen a four-leaf one! And I've still never seen one, because it's been stolen by sultry buttons! Check it to make sure. So this is someone else to help us. I'm looking for a criminal. Fat guy, dumb-looking mustache. Seen anyone like that around here? Other than you, I mean? It's possible. 
In my profession, I see a lot of people who fit that description. I'll try to help you if I can, laddie. Ever hear of a guy named Berducci? Aye, he just tried to sell me a beautiful masterpiece. But I didn't deal in stolen goods, so I sent him away. I expect he may be trying to sell it in Cairo. Are you serious? I just missed him again? Man, I better be earning some frequent fly guy miles for all this globe trotting I'm doing. Is this painting worth anything? I remember this painting. It was all over the news when it was stolen from the mummy's tomb back in 1963. Yeah, but I said, is it worth anything? It's stolen, so I won't be paying anything for it. And I guess I'm done here. I'm trying to catch a beautiful jewel thief. Got any tips? Hmm, if you want to impress a lady, try leaving her flowers in a place you know she'll be. What do you know about the stolen four-leaf thousand-dollar bill? Uh, only that I am not one of his minions. Is that so? What? I didn't get the script updates this morning. I'm ad-libbing. Cut! You must be one of Stinky's brothers. Hi, my name is Cecil Van Gogh. I'm a well-respected art critic and collector. If you have any pieces of fine art, I can tell you their history. Did and he did. Okay. Thanks for your help. Don't go anywhere. I may have some more questions. You know where to find me. How much of a bit Cairo is just this place with another, uh... Cairo. One of the four corners of the Earth. Perhaps I'll make it one of the four corners of my map. Nope. Nope, you won't. And that's not even close, but... <laughs> Wait, Sultry! Man, I gotta find a way to get here before she leaves! Cairo, the driest city in the world! <laughs> Land of the mysterious Desert Pyramids. I wonder if I'll find Perducci here. At least they're on the opposite side. The purple nose of Cairo? That's a weird one. I think I'll let sultry buttons keep that one. Something I can help you with? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't tell me you're another one of Stinky's brothers. Jeez, how many of you guys are there? Four altogether. Now, did you come to do business? If not, then get lost. Cairo, Venice, Ireland. You got another one coming. You've got a real attitude, pal. I like that. So what's your story? Well, since you know my brother, they call me the moving man. I'm a professional fence. You got some merchandise that you obtained through questionable means? Get it to me and I can move it for you. I'll keep that in mind if I ever want to do any spring cleaning in my office. Obviously we can fence this, but... I'm sure you're aware that Sultry Buttons has stolen the purple nose of Cairo. Yeah, and it is a great loss to the country, but a possible great profit to me. Really? A purple nose? If you scratch it, it smells like boysenberries. It's a scratch and sniff treasure? Yup. Well, actually that is pretty cool. <laughs> in your line of work, you must have connections to Perducci. Is he here in Cairo? Oh yeah, I know Perducci. He and I go way back. But you won't find him in Cairo. I just sent him off to Tokyo to move some counterfeit movie tie-in merchandise. So that's where all that cheap junk is coming from. I'm 
trying to catch a beautiful jewel thief. Got any tips? Hmm, if you want to impress a lady, try leaving her flowers in a place you know she'll be. Take a look at this painting. Anyone ever try to move this thing through you? Yeah, I remember Perducci stole this from the mummy's tomb one fall, a long time ago. You remember it being in the fall? Yeah, well, business is slow in the fall. Something like that painting comes through, and you remember it. I've heard enough. But if you ever run into someone needing to get rid of some stolen jetpack boots, you know who to call. Sure, and if you happen to run into any of my tree brothers, give them a big hug for me. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Tokyo. Wonder what Tokyo looks like. Tokyo. Where was that city? I have to put it up here. But first. I was hoping he'd still have some of the, uh, some of that flower, so that we could recreate it. All we could do is go to Tokyo, which he's just stolen. Japan! Wow, this place looks so different from any other country I've visited. So different. The same place. The same... Something I can help you with, stranger? The swollen jade tick. I'm glad this one was stolen. Ticks bug me. <laughs> they tick me off. <laughs> they really suck, right? Comic relief. Psst. Are you dangerous? I see my legend precedes me. My brother said to expect you. Do you have any questions for me? So, who are you supposed to be? Just call me Stooly Rat Weasel. Only if you pay me. I'm a double agent working to gather info for both sides. If you have anything that you need information on, just show it to me. Hey, you got any intel on this baby? Of course. Perducci and I worked together to steal this from an ancient temple in Japan. Can that information help me find him now? I don't think so. Well, that's no fun. I'm looking for a fugitive named Perducci. That name mean anything to you? Yeah, I know Perducci. I've been gathering intel on him for years. He was here not long ago. You just missed him. My sources say he may be heading to a safe house in Paris. Ah, the old safe house in Paris gimmick. I should have known. I'm trying to catch a beautiful jewel thief. Got any tips? Same thing? Hmm. If you want to impress a lady, try leaving her flowers in a place you know she'll be. So I have to find flowers, number one. Keep on playing both sides, Rat Wheezy. Don't worry about me. And if you need any more help in your travels, just look up any of my three brothers. This is getting more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Are we out of... Places on the map I always yet? have Paris, right here on my map. No, we got a couple left. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's done though. Wait, <laughs> Salt Tree! Man, I gotta find a way to get here before she leaves. Paris, the city of romance. Many a hearts and winds I have broken here. Broken, broken wind. What'd she steal this time? The diamond-tipped diamond. I heard this thing can cut through just about every material known to man. It's probably what sultry buttons used to cut through the security glass to steal it. Somehow. Wait a minute, this is too many informants. Psst, you need- Shut your face! Hey, you. Have you seen- You are troubled with father issues. This has made it hard for you to define which side of the law you are on, and why you choose to work alone, except when you work with your partner. Which is all the time. 
What are you, another psychic? I'm a psychological profiler. I can give you a psychological profile of a person just by evaluating their belongings. What can you tell me about a man who would steal something like this? Oh my! That? Well, anyone who steals that is highly disturbed. Strangely, that same painting appears in an old case file of mine I wrote way back in the fall of 1963. <laughs> wow, that is a coincidence. Did you see a woman come through here and steal a ginormous diamond? Um, nope. Not that I know of. What? Aren't you supposed to know everything about the seedy criminal activity around here? I'm sure if there was anyone around here fitting a criminal profile, I would know about it. Look, there's a big empty pedestal over there that previously displayed something that I wanted to take. I mean, protake. Protect. Sorry. Must not have been very important. Hmm. That's odd. I'm searching for a man named Perducci! Well, what can you tell me about him? Hmm, he's fat, wears a blue suit, dumb hat, crusty white beard and mustache, and smells a bit like peppermint and gravy. This sounds like a desperate man. He's frightened and may have gone into hiding. So how can I find him? He's probably trying to blend into the crowd. Perhaps in a place where everyone wears funny hats and smells a bit minty. So, Ireland? I'm trying to catch a beautiful jewel thief. Got any tips? Hmm, if you want to impress a lady... Okay, that's getting old. I can't believe I haven't found Perducci yet. I've already been to five different countries and talked to five of these stupid brothers. But wait, Stinky said he only had three brothers. Something is I was fishy. right. One of these guys is lying. And when I figure out who it is, I'm going to pull out my trusty nunchuck gun, poke it into their doughy belly, and nunchuck gun the crap out of them until they give up the info I need. No one protects Perducci in my town and gets away with it. Well, this is the this guy is probably it. Are you protecting Perducci? What? Your story is full of lies that have holes in them. What part? The painting wasn't stolen from any ancient temple. I don't know anything about that. Are you sure that wasn't you? I get you guys confused. All right, forget I was ever here. Okay. So we went... We just came from Tokyo. That's in Japan! <laughs> Japan! Japan! I gotta get her flowers, I know. Psst! You need some... Quiet, punk! Looks like it caught me a big fat liar! Me? What makes you think I'm lying? The painting wasn't stolen from any ancient temple. So? So, you told me that you helped Perducci steal the painting from an ancient temple in Japan. But that is clearly not true because two of the brothers told me this painting was stolen from a mummy's tomb. I did You're not one of the brothers. Why are you protecting Perducci? Very clever, Dangerous. You have seen through my carefully crafted ruse. I'm not protecting Perducci. I am Perducci. Now kindly give me back my painting. What's so important about this painting? Just give it. The disc. Aha! You lose again, Perducci. I knew I shouldn't have stashed the painting under that bridge. May have beaten me this time, dangerous, but I'll be back! <laughs> and see! Well, that's it for me! I'll see you at the premiere! If you need me for pickups, call my agent! <laughs> okay, so. Let's 
Step one. One disc of important launch codes for you, El Professor. Wait, you knew that Perducci had them all along? You could have told me that from the start, man. I had to go to all those countries, talk to all those strong sads. Ruby powered rocket. I ordered one of these from the back of a comic book once. Only the ruby was plastic. And the rocket was a toilet paper roll. And the comic book was a napkin. Whoa, now that's a knife! Perfect for cutting the crust off my grilled cheese sandwich! Could come up handy at some point. I mean when I need to hack and slash my way through mobs of reanimated rebel rhinoceraptors. I think I'll call you Stabby. So we got two things there. Okay, so a romantic photo. That's, no. that's something we could leave for a woman. Wait, sultry! Man, I gotta find a way to get here before she leaves. You need some information? No way! Uh, no. What? That won't do anything interesting! Yeah, that's me. In Paris. With the hottie. You don't have to say anything. I know I'm a crunk lord. What am I doing now? I need to find soldiery. I need to get a flower. Back again, Dangerous? Yeah, that's me. In pa I need another one of those stick a knee flowers. You got any? No, the one we used for my formula was the last one. If only you had a sample of the original plant. Which was on the stick. There's emails, I know. Don't worry, the stick. This is gonna hurt me a lot more than it does you. Actually, that's a really big lie I just told you right there just now. Here's a sample. That all just came together very quickly and luckily, because I was just like, wait a minute. Here, make this grow. You might have better luck if you use it in my formula enhanced garden. All right, stick a knee. Let's see how well this formula enriched soil really works. Uh... We're gonna make a fortune with this stuff. It's not about money, Dangerous. In fact, I've already given away the formula to the scientific community at large. Because when you get right down to it, we're all part of one big beautiful. <laughs> it takes a village. <laughs> Remember to eat a green thing every day. See what I mean? No. Stupid, selfish ecosystem. Back to Paris. We leave the flower. I think it'll work on any podium, but this is where it was most meaningful, so it should work the best here. Now all I have to do is fly back to Venice. Wait, Sultry! Man, I gotta find a way to get here before she leaves!
because I always end up flying back to Venice. <sighs> okay, back to Paris. She didn't... Did diamond tip diamond. I heard this thing can cut through just about every material known to man. It's probably what sultry buttons use to cut through the security glass to steal it. Somehow. Why didn't she stop for the flower? My dear Dangerous, a stickany flower in Paris. It brings back memories of the good times. Like that time we tried to assassinate the Emperor of Toothpaste while he was on vacation. But I guess you got here just as I was leaving. Maybe next time you'll arrive before me. Okay. Find a way to get here before she leaves. Back to Paris. Back to Venice. Wait, Sultry! Man, I gotta find a way to get here before she leaves! Do we have to do this five times? Dangerous! How dare you try to make nice with me in the country where we had our first fight? And for your information, my butt still does not look like a porcupine wrestling a pineapple. Still hate you, sultry buttons. Okay, we've done Paris, we've done Venice. Cairo, Japan, Ireland. Let's like go to Ireland. Maybe these are all the wrong answers. I got the right answer first. Wait, so I thought we might as well be completionists. And then we go back to Ireland. Another note. Something I can help you with, stranger? Is this some kind of a joke? You leave me a stickany flower in the same country where you accidentally blew up my summer cottage on purpose? This is not going to make me remember the good times. Hoping you get hit by a truck. Sultry buttons. Okay, we're going to go through all this just because. It's funny. Wait, Sultry! How many frequent flyer miles would he be generating by this point? Japan! Wrong button, I'm getting tired. Back to Cairo. <laughs> and I'll get back up to the thing. I'll do the map. Back to Japan. What did I do to her in Japan? Wait, Sultry! The Swollen Jade Tick. 
Nice flower, Dangeresque. Too bad this is the country where you decided that your speedboat couldn't take my weight and left me to face the old Polish Navy alone. A sensitive person would be more sentimental. Thinking about kicking your face? Sultry buttons. <sighs> okay. Cairo! Hey, over here. No. Okay, so we'll get the story from Cairo, and then we're going to go back to Paris, because that's the right answer. But there is this slight question. Wait, Sultry! Of how to get there ahead of her. This is insane. I should have known it was going too smoothly. Psst. You need some information? No. Dangerous. You aren't really trying to win me back in the country where we first tasted celery soda? I mean, I guess it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't good either. They say it's an acquired taste, but... Anyway, this place doesn't really hold any fond memories for me. I'll kill you in your sleep. Sultry buttons. Okay, so now we're, we know I was actually right the first time. Paris was the key. Wait, sultry! Sultry buttons in the wine. Sultry buttons. All the time. All the time. Something I can help you with, stranger? Hey, over here! Does this even work here? Ah, the mighty river of this country. So majestic and wet. All right, back to Venice. Oh. And then back to Paris. Oh. Wait, sultry! Man, I gotta find a way to get here before she leaves. memories of the good times. Like that time we tried to assassinate the Emperor of Toothpaste while he was on vacation. But I guess you got here just as I was leaving. Maybe next time you'll arrive before me. Well, how the heck do I do that? Is this a rinse, lather, repeat? You need- It's my line! Hey, you! Have you seen- You are troubled with father issues to work alone- Which is all the time. Yeah, that's me. It- Okay, so that- that picture is not terribly useful yet. Okay, so maybe next time. Let's do it next time. Back to Venice! Yeah, man, I've heard of if they're chasing after a woman, but- Wait, sultry! Man, I gotta find a way to get here before she leaves! Psst, you need some information? No. My dear Dangerous, okay. a stick flower in Paris. 
It brings back memories of the good times. Like that time we tried to assassinate the Emperor of Toothpaste while he was on vacation. But I guess you got here just as I was leaving. Maybe next time you'll arrive before me. Well, how the heck can I do that? It's part of the, the mechanism of the whole thing. She shows up. Man, we haven't gotten a lot of stuff here. I'm doomed to eye candy. Okay, that makes sense. I'm I'm going to bed. It's 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 late. We're gonna save. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.